Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture in our GRE quantitative math review series. Today we will talk about solid geometry. Um, solid geometry deals with three-dimensional objects. So up till now, the geometry topics that we have seen they have mostly been on 2D objects like like a circle, triangle, squares, rectangles. Solid geometry deals with three-dimensional things. Um, you can expect one to two questions on, on your GRE exam on, on solid geometry. And the concepts here are again simple. Um, there are three uh, objects that you need to uh, take care of on, on your GRE. The first is rectangular solids, the second cylinders, and third spheres. So let's first look at rectangular solids. Okay. So a rectangular solid, I guess in in, in layman terms, is just a box. Okay? Um, it has three dimensions that are important. Of course, you have a length. So, let's say this side, that's your length. Then you have your width or your height. So, this is the, just the height of the box. And then you have this back length here, which is the width. So length and width are the usual ones that you are familiar from uh, from 2D objects like rectangles. Height is the third dimension here. Okay. Uh, so two two concepts are important for, for solids. First is the volume. And the second is this concept of surface area. Okay. So volume is quite simple. Volume is just the product of your length times the width times the height. Okay. So you just three lengths you have, you just times it and you get the volume. Okay. And might be helpful uh, to keep track of units here. Uh, usually volume would be in units of like centimeter cube, meter cube, also known as cubic centimeters or cubic meters. So, so each of the dimension here would be in length units, right? Like centimeters or it could be meters or something else, right? You multiply them together, you end up with centimeter cube or meter cube. Okay. The other uh, other property that you need to know of solids is the surface area. So surface area is just the sum of all the exposed area surfaces that you can see. So in a rectangular solid. Uh, basically, the faces that you have are the ones that you need to account for in your surface area. So, uh, by face, I mean, I guess, just this exposed area. So, like, this is one, one face. Um, similarly, you will have this back face here. Okay. Uh, you'll have a face over here on the left side. You'll have a face here on the right side. So, these are four faces. And then you have the top face. And the bottom face. Okay, so so in total you have six faces. Okay, to, to account for. Now you can see that if I'm looking at the front face, okay, then the dimensions uh, that are here is the length and the height, right? So the surface area of that that face would be length times height. Okay, it's just like the area of a rectangle. Now, since you have two of these, you have one in the front and then this one in the back, means you have to times it by two. Now, similarly, um, you have two more pairs of these faces. So you have your top and bottom, which would be two times length times width. And then you will have the, the, the left and the right ones, which would be width times height. If I factor out the two, I can write in slightly condensed form like this. So, so basically, uh, you don't have to derive the formula yourself. You just need to, to know uh, what the formula is. So, so it's the product of two dimensions, right? All so all the pair product of all the pairs of of the of the dimensions, right? So you have length times height, length times width, and the width times height. Um, sum that up and times it by two. So that's your simple surface area formula. Now, there's a special type of 
rectangular solid, which is known as a cube. So in a cube, all the lengths, uh, all the dimensions, or also we call the, the sides as edges. All the edges are equal. So length is equal to width is equal to height. Okay. So, so in this case, your volume uh, just becomes, if I say, you know, all these are equal to, let's say, edge length E, then the volume just becomes E cubed. Okay. And the surface area becomes 6E squared. Okay. The area of each uh, face would be E squared, and you have six of these faces. Uh, so it will be 6E squared. Okay. So, so these are the formulas that you need to memorize for a rectangular solid. So your volume and your surface area. Okay. Now let's look at an example problem. P is a point on edge GH. So this is the edge GH, P is a point here of Q, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. All right, so this is a cube here, so all sides would be equal. Each edge of the cube is one, so each edge is one, one, one. Okay, so quantity A, the area of triangle ABP, ABP, and quantity one. All right, so, so area of the triangle is just one half base times height, right? So in this case, we can take the base to be AB, which we know is the edge of the cube and is equal to one. Height would be the distance from point P to this base, right? This perpendicular line, all right? Which we don't know right off the bat, but we know what we can see is that this height is actually the same Thing as the diagonal that you can draw on this face. So I'm trying to find, okay, let me draw a line like this. Yeah, this line, okay. So, so the height of the triangle is exactly the same as this diagonal that I can draw on the, on this face of the cube, right? Now, since I know that, uh, I have the sides one and one here. What I have is basically a right triangle. So let me draw it over here. All right, so so I've drawn the triangle out here. This vertex is G, this vertex is F, and this vertex is B, right? And I know this is one, this is one. This is the, the diagonal that I want to find its length, right? So this is our height, H. Now, it will be good to remember here that this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Why is that the case? Because the legs of the two triangle, the legs, the two legs of the triangle are equal in length. That tells me that this is a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. Okay. With the 45, 45, 90 triangle, the legs and the hypotenuse are in this ratio, right? One, one root two. So this again uh, coming back from our triangles lesson. So, so we have both legs are one, one, and the hypotenuse or the height in this case would be root two. two. Okay, so the area of the triangle comes out to be root two over two, and I know root two is about 1.4 something, so this quantity would be less than one. So the correct answer here would be 